us. Damn, it's hot as hell outside. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this half-ass review of this Buja Day 003 collection, right? Um, I basically own everything, right? I got the hat, the damn cargoes, the the hoodie and the shirts, right? I ain't got the socks, cause the fucking socks, right? You know what I'm saying? And I don't got the carpenter pants, but I got a homie who got them. I got he got the brown pair, yes, right? Yes, sir. And I, he just I'm I'm gonna outsource yes, for that. Sir. But it's not a it's not a Buja Day collection video without. No, I'll say. about the, the neutral gray is right you know what i'm saying the buja day uh minimalist classic all right but you know let, let's get on to the collection right you know what i'm saying pricing this is kind of expensive you know what i'm saying the pants like 395 the hoodies like 225 and like the shirts are like 100 you know what i'm saying the hat's like 90 but that's like retail right if we're talking about resale like resale hitting like yo for the pants Hit like 1,000 to 1,200. Like if you if you literally buy them from Grailed, bro, you are actually getting robbed, man. Like at gunpoint, getting robbed, whole pocket stolen. Right? You know what I'm saying? And like the hoodie, you get 800, right? That's a whole down payment on like a house, kinda. A shirt's going for like. <laughs> and in this very moment, my friend looked at me like I was the dumbest person in the world because I looked it up. A down payment is 10% of the entire house cost. And so if an average house in America is about $200,000 and you do 10% of that, that's $20,000. Now, is that 800? No. But it's very close. <laughs> sure, it's going for like 200, 300, right? It's, and the hat's going for like 250 ish. You know what I'm saying? Things are generally kind of expensive, right? I would never pay something like that. However, you want to go half and half you know say what you and your homie right you know ain't nothing wrong with that i'm not the type to judge right you know say that's your money that that's your business all right now moving on to the fits and the quality right i'm gonna rank these out of 10 you know what i'm saying the shirt right you know say on body fits uh, you know says eh right you know it's soft you know so get like a seven out of ten right if you're wondering how the black won't fit you know what I'm saying bing bang bow boom you know say done make it quick you know, say a hoodie it's cool, you know what I'm saying? It's boxy, you know what I'm saying? A little crop, you feel me? But you know what I'm saying? Quality, you know what I'm saying? It's soft as hell. Like I, I really like how soft it is. And you know, you get, you get like an 8.2 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? If it was a little longer, personally, give it like a nine. You know what I'm saying? 9.5. I, re I really like the hoodie. Now onto the cargoes, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? The high value item right there. The fit, they're low key tight as hell. Like, I'm a 32 waist, and I got a medium where they said it was, like, 34. And, yo, bro, like, I should have sized up. Like, these bitches are long as fuck, too. I'm 5'7", you know what I'm saying, short kings. <laughs> and, I, you know what I'm I got to get the length cut uh, uh, at a tailor. Yeah, I, I just want the length cut. But, you know what I'm saying, they're thick, right? You know what I'm saying, they feel nice. But I, I hate the material, though. Like, I understand, like, it's a special, like vintage Japanese type of material but you know it's like they all they do is catch lint and I hate that like if they pick something else like a denim material kind of like the carpenter or you know what I'm saying something similar that don't catch enough lint I love it right and yeah, overall you know what I'm saying get like an 8 out of 10 I like the way they look you know what I'm if you wear them in an the outfit you get free Instagram clout you know what I'm that easy and the carpenter pants I don't really own them but you know I have a friend who owns them he goes by the name of at Luca Marv right and you know, so he'll give you a little quick review. 10 out of 10. I'd buy them again, and I hope I see Ken in my dreams tonight. Hello? Yeah. Oh, my work shirts, what's up? Oh, you wanna add your brown pants review to the video? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can make that happen. Yeah, don't worry about it. I got you, bro. I mean, they're all right, I guess. <laughs> and you know, last but not least, you know what I'm saying, the hat. I mean, you know, it's a hat, right? Nothing special. But you know, that's my review of the collection, right? You know what I'm saying, half-ass as hell, I don't really care, right? And if I had, you know what I'm saying, 
we had to rank the entire collection on a, like a two Virgil scale. Just get a, you know what I'm saying? Like a 1.7 out of two, you feel me? That's like an 85-ish. I'm saying B plus. It's cool, a little expensive. Resale's stupid, right? But you know, it look nice. But you know what I'm saying? That's, that's all really for me, right?